serious gorge right whoa 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 what's slipped <laughs> Really serious gorge going on here. Awesome. So, uh, they're warning us of, uh, Gosh hawks defending their nests, and I heard about this too. Uh, a bunch of hikers were scratched up really bad. Um, so yeah, <laughs> serious threat. But I think it's a little late in the season. You, I would assume, but you never know. I've got my tent set up. It doesn't look like it now, but. This is a hell of a busy place right here. <laughs> cool place though, very cool. Now, I'm walking to town with sandals and socks again. <laughs> uh, you think I wouldn't worry about that anymore? It feels weird. Okay. Ah. Uh, I see a town, I guess. All right. It looks like the uh, last hikers left a whole bunch of stuff. Like this is like their garbage, but some of it is like oh, uh, that is garbage. But then they left Pap's blue ribbon. They were drunk. They were drunk as hell when they left. <laughs> These young kids, man, just hike off into the evening all lit. <laughs> uh, I think they were going Nobo northbound too. Sorry, we say Nobo Sobo. I think they were going northbound, which means they're gonna go for days. Oh, they were absolutely going northbound because I remember them going. Dude, your pack looks like shit. Oh yeah, your pack looks like shit. Because they're just so full of food. Because they got to go 100 miles without a resupply. <laughs> but I am. I'm just sitting here watching the wheels go round and round. It's busy. The girl's playing a trip. She's trying to play a ukulele. She's cool. <laughs> She lost her fanny pack, and she, yeah, we've been bumping into each other. We just the thing is, all these young hikers are all faster than me, but I beat I don't know how the hell I beat them to all these places. I'm sitting here with <laughs> half a bottle of wine, call it or everything. I've been here all day, and then they all walk in. You know, I don't know how that works. But yesterday, I went a long way. I just kept going and going and going until dark. But anyway, yeah, I'm proud of myself. What am I going to say? Another uh, hostel doggy. <laughs> He's really lazy right now. <laughs> I don't know his name. I lost my earbuds, I just found them. Awesome. <laughs> so this is my last day at Shaw's and uh, Shaw's Hostel in Monson. And you can see they're preparing for breakfast. They serve breakfast here too.
place is huge. <laughs> I mean huge. Big old house. And then next door there's another big old house. And in the back there in the garage. Um, there's a uh, piece of a whole bunch of gear in there. Pretty much anything you need. <sighs> but yeah. So I'm gonna sit here and charge my phone the rest of the way. Breakfast is like it's like twenty after five or something. And then breakfast is at seven. And then the shuttle is at eight fifteen. <sighs> Well, it's Sunday, August 8th. Just got dropped off. Uh, and uh, heading into the 100 mile wilderness. 8.40 a.m. <laughs> ah, beautiful weather. It's going to be 80 something today. 60 at night. And pretty much like that all week. And some scattered thunderstorms. Ah. Minimum. <laughs> so they say you need a minimum of 10 days supply. Okay. Guess what? I only have six, <laughs> seven, maybe seven. I probably have seven meals, but not seven days worth of. So that's the 100 mile wilderness right there, I think. <laughs> not sure. <laughs> Oh, I'm hearing loons over here. <laughs> Town's full of loons. And there's some birds that dive underwater. I don't know what the hell they are. <laughs> so this is what it looks like going into the 100 mile wilderness. <clears throat> Very pretty. A little slippery too. I had to super glue parts of my shoes back on. <laughs> the soles were tearing apart. They're just like a foam. They're like rubber glued in onto foam. And the heel parts came off. So I super glued them all back on. Or both of them. They just started tearing on an edge of rubber. Just put stress on it and just kept ripping, I guess. It's bad design, really. It's gonna be kind of slow going. This is a little. Roots are slippery too. So, yeah, slippery rocks, slippery roots. Take your time. You don't wanna. <laughs> Look at this. I don't want to get a sprained ankle in the 100 mile. It's not like people can't get to you. But it's not easy. <laughs> I got a, Lisa lent me her Garmin inReach, which I haven't fully set up yet. Dang it. I was so busy with everything else. I have the software downloaded and everything. And I downloaded the instructional videos. So I'm gonna watch those and then set up my Garmin. And at least if I don't have cell phone uh, coverage, I can send a message or a SOS or whatever with global positioning satellite, that is. So it's all good. <laughs> I just hope nothing happens until I get it set up, obviously. Ooh. 
nice waterfall here. Oh, very slippery. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, that was close. But isn't that cool? Right there. Pretty place to hundred mile wilderness. Damn beautiful. Guys fly fishing down there. I think this is called Barren Cliffs that I'm on. And uh, shoot, I don't even know what mountain that is. Peak. Um, but I'm in the chair backs. And this behind me is a chair back. That's where I'm going next. I have four of them to go <laughs> to do <laughs> today. <laughs> uh, AT, and you're a butt kicker. <laughs> But you sure are pretty mean. So here's the, the water source that I have. Okay, there's another one. But I was just filtering. <laughs> I lost my cap. I came back to look for that. But, um, there it is. I'm looking for this. So I was filtering my water right here. And then I happened to look up here. That's moose shit. <laughs> then I look down here. <laughs> it's flowing through moose shit. Uh, I mean, that's exactly how you get or bacteria and viruses. And <laughs> I mean, yeah, maybe I filtered out, but I mean, Jesus. So I, I had to empty those bottles. And that's why you filter your water. That's a spring coming out of the ground. And so I was like, this is a great source. But, uh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> Moose. So, probably don't have that issue here. But. <laughs> in Maine. Oh, man. <laughs> I love Maine, though. But it's wild. And even, even your water sources are get full of moose poop. I'm in a, another bog. And there's probably a lot of rare plants here. But the one I'm most interested in, and it looks... Uh, and that is the purple pitcher plant. Yeah. You see... Here's the pictures down here, and they are carnivorous in that they hold water, like that one, and I think they trap insects. But, uh, they're really cool. And then they have this, uh, it's like a fake flower. I don't know how this works. There's a little What's that 
how they could. I don't know. I don't know how this works, but maybe that they catch insects there. Oh my gosh. I think that's like a fake flower. That's how they catch insects. Wow. Look at how cool these things are. Awesome. Good morning. Well, I've hiked 2,000. 100 miles. <laughs> no, right. <laughs> I feel pretty good.